Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're fighting Sanctuary. Uh, they are ranked 4. They are our only competitor for top 3. Um, if they don't lose and we lose... Um, if we lose everything from now on. Um, so yeah, the idea is just to beat them today and then we're in vacation because we have top 3 guaranteed then. Um, they, have, they will be too far behind. And there's only two wars left. Um, last time on Friday we got the most intense war I've ever had. Um, because yeah, there was a mix of... I think people were scared of inting here because we needed to full clear. Since Talentless earlier, um, early in the war they already had five ints. So they could not full clear. It's actually Talentless 1. So that's really a first here. <laughs> um, and yeah, so they they had they couldn't full clear anymore. So we had really the pressure of doing it right. Uh, it went very well until I, I went to sleep. Except we didn't do as many attacks as I was as I was hoping. Uh, and in the morning I woke up a bit over two hours left, or I don't know, uh, around two three hours left, and thirty attacks left. So that was a bit scary. Uh, so it became a bit of a rush, and then I saw three people hint in a row. Uh, which also <laughs> was extremely scary. I might still see them uh, in the war stages. Uh, I don't know if they're still here because it was... Yeah, here. All those happened within a half an hour of each other. And then we had no ends left. Uh, all of a sudden it was uh, maybe 25 attacks and we needed to full clear uh, to not end once. And we had less than two hours left, so that was very scary. Um, so yeah, there was helping three or four people at once, uh, trying to <laughs> make sure there were a few mistakes that thankfully didn't cost us the game. We had some cl very close calls and we ended the war with um, three attacks at the same time, just ended. The last attack on the stronghold was actually uh, the last one to, to be done and two attacks on the same tower that was still full health. Uh, all three ended around eight minutes before the end, before reset, so that was extremely scary. But yeah, we made it, so I'm really happy about that. Um, that will be a very nice season for us, uh, beating TL1 and and ending top three at the same time, hopefully. Um, so yeah, I'll start with this one, because I don't have a lot of time today, and I'm thankful it's not against tier 1 today, um, so I'll just scout maybe one, I will see how much time I have, but this one I will just go with a cleave team that others can follow afterwards, so just my normal bunny, the Lilia is extremely fast, she was almost over 320 speed, so yeah, I have my Zahak on attack boots here, so to make sure I don't get speed RNG like I was once against the same defense, same, uh, the same person actually, um, and I have the resource reduction EE to kill the Vivian. Um, and my Ludwig is just a normal build on Torrent now. Um, so yeah, the idea is just to kill the Vivian with the hack. And Solburn is too with my Ludwig. He has the right artifact this time. Uh, so yeah, to kill her. And there's three. And uh, yeah, should be fine. And team two, I have my usual... Abigail to protect the Benimaru. I gave her this to do a bit more damage. Well, so everyone does a bit more damage. Rimuru on Spear because he wants to push more to make sure that I outspeed the uh, Senya. Uh, even if I get Stigmat afterwards, so that should be fine. And he is here to just kill them all. Uh, he will have the attack buff from Rimuru, so he doesn't need to have his own. He will survive the S3 from Ran. And even if RNL occurs, he will just be immortal, so, yep, let's go. Scar those in our way with destruction and fear. Can you even reach me? Okay. I'll teach you a lesson. Let me see how lessons you read. So he just is three is the vision. Okay. 
And I sold the shoe. And I killed the shoe. And I just need to finish her off. Okay. Okay, so nothing out of the ordinary here. Okay, alright now, that's fine. I killed the Lilius. And I'll finish her off. And Abigail never does to, never gets to do anything unfortunately. <laughs> but unfortunately I guess. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll come back for the next one. Uh, so I'm gonna scout this tower now. Oh yeah, first team, gonna go with this. Uh, I don't mind Lithi or uh, um, Pera going first, I doubt it's Lithi, but uh, even if it's the case, it doesn't really matter here. Uh, because both Benimaru and Celine will just uh, cleanse and push when the pair are ghosts, um, and yeah, they will just, uh, well, Celine will attack the, um, the Roana, and depending on the health, I will see if I aim at Liti right away with Benimaru or Roana, uh, and Celine can finish off with a Soul Burnus 3, and finish her off if I need to. Uh, and then yeah, I should be free after that. Team 2 is the one I used before, um, okay. let me just show the build because I'm not sure I did. So we will have attack buff thanks to this. Uh, she's just my standard DPS one. She just do a bit of damage as well, which is good. Um, and provide book. And yeah, and I'm on the highest attack EE. All right. And for team two, I have my slow Sinji. Um, Bastion of Hope for more ER. Uh, Celine, usual build, but on Silver Rain. So that she gives attack buff turn 1 to Arunka, just in case the, the turn order is good. I have her on higher attack and pen than usual, uh, less bulk, but that's fine, no immunity. Um, but yeah, the idea is to kill the uh, Adin first, uh, if she's not immortal, otherwise I just spend a turn hitting the S1 on uh, the RL, and then on turn 2 I just uh, S3 the Adin, otherwise I do it on turn 1. Then I kill the, Arun uh, the RL, and then finally the city. I can solve one as well if I need to. Um, Alright, so let's go. Okay. Yeah, no surprise. Okay, let's see how much damage this does. I think I hit the Lithi first. She's more dangerous. Um, yeah. Pretty tanky. It'll all be over in the blink of an Okay. So she's fast. Be careful. That's fine. Wandering soul. I'll revive her here. And she's immortal. This ill fated relationship between us ends here. I just have to wait turn two now. Um, okay, so I'll just hit the, doesn't matter, I can hit the Celine, uh, oh wait, no, because I don't want to do all attack, just in case. Ok, 
Okay. Now I just test three. And now I start hitting the arrow. Yeah, that's fine. Have fun. At least I know the artifact. Now I hit the add in. I kill. Okay, very dead. And now I can just. Uh, do I solve on this? Probably not. I'll keep it just in case I need it. I'll just kill her now. Let's end it now. I'll remove any trace of you. Who are you people? Um, I don't want her to dust devil me, so I'll just do With this. this sword of spirit, there is nothing that I can't slash. Please, anybody don't. there? This time it's okay because she can't die from. Oh, she's in water right now, so. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just have to wait. Okay. And now I think she's dead. Yep. Nice. She had no one to revive either way. Uh, okay, so that's it for this one. I have to wait for the stronghold now. So I'll be back later. Okay, so stronghold is open. Um, I will try to find a good cleave team for the others to use against team one because apparently it's uh, uh, very tanky and I need, uh, well, you need a very strong Arunka like this. And not everyone can do this apparently. So. We'll have to find something else, but I would like to check her HP first before I can provide the maximum volume health because that's the same issue. Not everyone has a 4k one. So yeah, we'll try to find something like this. So the idea here is to push. I don't need to change her. She's fast enough here. I'll just uh, push my Arunka. Kill the, um, the Landy because Celine is not too fast. Um, She's under 200 speed. I made my slow Sinji a bit faster so that she doesn't get lapped. Uh, she's IER. She's just there to take the hits from Celine and, and provide dual attacks as well so that I can finish off these two pretty fast. Um, and yeah, for team two, uh, it's a slow team, so I'm going with this again. Hontachi and the right EE, yes. Uh, kill the Ran with him. Push the obstacle first. Uh, that will provide a barrier for, for her. I can kill her then with S2 and then S3 and then since I don't have Arunka twice, <laughs> I can't use her twice, so I'll use Velona here. Alright, let's go. Mm, yes, uh, let me double check the artifact. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm tired and I don't want to make a mistake by going too fast. Yeah. Okay. I can actually... Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> Alright, let's go then. Yeah, speeds are fine. So I push... Arunka. You really wanna fight? Kill the landy. Let's end it now. Should see the HP at some point. Okay. I will be able to see it in the video.
Don't really need to do anything here. Just trust me. And I think I'll just hit her right. once she has a barrier that yeah, does a lot of damage. So I can finish her off afterwards. Um, should I do anything here? Probably not. I could push. Let me check the CR. Yeah. I can push her. Get, uh, to keep the tempo. Nice. Ah, it's unfortunate, but it's fine. It just makes it longer. Uh, but yeah, doesn't matter here because now I can solve on the. Yarunka, I'll just avoid crit. What are you looking at? Okay. So I push the obsec. Still a long way to go. Prove your worth. Kill the run. It's a big run. Kill the Livius. Okay. S3. We attack back to Bellona. Since I pushed her, I need to just this one here. Oh wait, she she left. Then I can three. Okay, holy sack here. Yeah. Okay, nice. Alright, that's it for today. Um, so far I think we still only have one int and they can't full clear us anymore, so... If we just full clear, then then we win and then it's fine, we can't lose the top 3 anymore, so that's great. Alright, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe if you like the video, and I will see you on the next one.